Well, good evening and welcome to this edition of Sell Your Own Product on Amazon for Income and Lifestyle. And with, like usual, the emphasis is on the lifestyle because that's what it's all about. You know, there's a lot of different ways to make money and everything else. But if you're if you're making money and you're working all the time and you're not enjoying your family, you're not spending time with your family and that, then is it really worth it? Because you're going to get to the end. You're going to get old and crusty like me. And you're going to wonder where the time went and why I didn't spend more time with my family. And that's one of the reasons we do this. There's a lot of ways to sell on Amazon. And private label is a very good way, uh, excellent way. And it can also be done with what we call the private label lifestyle. And that's where you source your product, find the product you want, you source that product, you know, and then you have it delivered right to Amazon. You don't touch the product. You don't do anything. And every two weeks, Amazon sends you a uh, doesn't send you a check. I keep saying that all the time and I apologize for that. What they do is they do a draft right into or a deposit right into your account. You just set it up that way. They deposit the money every two weeks and uh, you know it can't be much simpler than that. Sure it takes some time to source that product, get the get the right price and everything and uh, arrange for the branding, arrange for the uh, the logo you're going to put on there, how you're going to take that product and you're going to improve it and all that. But once you get that done, you're good. And, and hopefully that product is going to last you on Amazon for years, years, five years, 10 years, depends on what the type of product it is. They'll last sometimes that long. And so you've just done all that work. You might do a little work at the beginning when the rest of it is just set up because you can set up an Amazon to notify you when it's time to reorder. You reorder, it's, it's delivered to Amazon. You don't see it, you touch it, you just have them deposit the money in your account. That's the private label lifestyle. And uh, <clears throat> so, but what we're going to talk about tonight is what is Amazon FBA uh, and the Amazon FBA program. Now, I know this is a little basic to some of you people that have been on there for a while, while but if you talk about, we've got people on the show tonight that are uh, here because they don't really know what Amazon FBA is. They don't know what the M the FBA program is all about. And so, uh, you know, we try to, on a yearly basis, we try to go over all these topics and that. Sometimes you're going to hear stuff you've heard before. Sometimes you're going to hear stuff that uh, uh, is brand new. And do we hope this is brand new? Because we're excited when we see the, the new people on here. We're excited when we see them, uh, you know, uh, here on the program and and wanting to learn wanting to hear about what's going on and what what this amazon uh fba program is all about because uh, that's what makes it go round and round and round and that's that's great we appreciate it so if you're on here tonight and i know there are some other on here that are that are new why welcome and we welcome you to this exciting journey because it's a very exciting journey uh what can i tell you uh you know we're going to get into it tonight. You know, you're going to, hopefully you're going to see why it's an exciting journey because there's some neat stuff coming uh, that uh, a lot of people don't know about. And we're going to talk about it later on in here because we're going to, and uh, so you'll see, but uh, uh, as usual in the, in the course, I, I like to talk a little bit about the sponsor. And actually the sponsor is uh, our course it uh, bring it up here right now at sell your own product on amazon for income and lifestyle uh, uh first of all it's 46 videos it's up to well over 50 now we're probably close to 55 and growing all the time uh videos which i'm not the number of videos really doesn't it's it's the material that counts so let's just say we've got all kind of videos and then this is a this is a type of course where you can uh, do it whichever way you want. If you want somebody to hold your hand and guide you through each step and, and work with you in that, we can do that. If you want some somebody just to tell you what to do and be left alone, we can do that. That's the neat thing about this course. Uh, when you the, the day you join the course, you're going to get my email address, and plus you're always going to get my cell phone number. And uh, within reason, you're welcome to call me anytime. That cell phone number when I go to bed, I don't take it next to my bed or anything like that so you won't get uh, returned until the next morning. So if you call late at night and you need something on the first morning, just text it out there and I'll text you back in the morning or call you if it has to, whatever we need to do to do. But that's what the, this course is all about. We're in this together and, uh, and we want you to succeed 
and and that's the whole thing about this course. Uh, what more can I tell you? I uh, there's there's a users forum which we haven't been using here lately, but uh, uh, we we're going to start using. I mean, I'm going to send an email out the other day because. Uh, uh, but anyway. Uh, to the, to the members of the course to see what they want to do because uh, I don't know whether it's the format we use. Sometimes I, I don't think the, the forum has been too user friendly and we can uh, sure change that. We can go to another format. We can do a lot of different things. So uh, uh, if you're, you guys that are on there that are members of the course, why well, you're going to be getting an email and we're going to decide when we do because I'd really like to get that not only being used, but people to use it because it's so important because man, you can make a, uh, uh, joint ventures with other other people. There's a lot of things you can do. Help each other out. Uh, come up with ideas because I'm not the only one that have ideas. You guys have some great ideas. I know when I'm talking to you in that, and and we need to share that with other people. So, uh, but with that being said, what we're going to do, we're going to go over here to where we've got uh, talk about because this is where we're showing what we're talking about tonight and what we're talking about is what is amazon fba amazon fba program uh you know fba stands for fulfilled by amazon and it's a great program when amazon i you know i've been doing this quite a year and i don't know if, i don't think they had fba when they first started i think it was or maybe they did i i'm not going to say because you know honestly i don't know that and i i need to look that up because uh Somebody's going to ask me that someday, and and I need to know that. I but as far as as long as I've been here, they've had the FBA program. So what is the FBA program? Well, I'm going to tell you. We're going to get into it. And I just it's naturally it's fulfilled by Amazon. That's the name of it. And if I can get this thing, so if you're selling on Amazon, or if you're thinking about selling at Amazon, or you want to sell on Amazon, Amazon has two seller programs. They've got a couple other different offshoots of those programs and all that. We're not going to get into those because these are the two that are the two main ones, and these are the ones that uh, uh, most people get into. The other ones are are uh, uh, just different programs, and and uh, not even going to talk about that. We're going to talk about first FBM, which is fulfilled by merchant. Now, what's fulfilled by merchant? Well, what's fulfilled by merchant? Uh, I guess it goes on the next slide. We're going to go over here. It's fulfilled by merchant. Uh, what happens? You list your product. You you find a product, uh, whether it be you go to the grocery store and scan a bunch of products, find something you can make some good money on, so you list that product. If it's not already listed, you list that product, you list it, then you uh, you send your product into Amazon. No, if, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm back up there. You... you uh, list your product and you just put it in your garage or your bedroom or, uh, or wherever you're, you're selling your product because this is fulfilled by merchant. And so you list that and Amazon sells that product. Now, Amazon, as soon as they sell it within a minute or so, you're going to get an email from Amazon saying, hey, Terry, we just sold your 10-count uh, uh, blue widget and we need you to send that within uh, 24 hours. You get 20, whatever it is, to do it. And this is the address and the shipping address and everything you need to know. And they give you that. And so you're off to go. So what do you do? So you, you find the product, uh, whether it's in your bedroom closet or under the bed or wherever it's at. And then you prepare that product. In other words, you find a box that product's going to fit in. And uh, uh, you should get it all ready and pack it nice and everything. Put the uh, peanuts in and all that, which we, I should have said peanuts, because if you're shipping into Amazon, you cannot use peanuts. That's one thing you, you need to know right off the bat. But if you're shipping to the customer, you can use peanuts. Uh, that's fine, because it's not going through Amazon, but, uh, you know, you can use peanuts. So, but you, you package your product. You want to package it good, so, and, it, and it's so it looks good, it shows good, and it, it is good, you know. And so you ship your product. You could go in, into Amazon, and Amazon will will sell you the postage for the product. You weigh the product, you send the dimensions in, you put it in the thing in Amazon, tell what it is, and Amazon will sell you the postage uh, to send the product. Now, let me say, the postage, when I'm talking postage, I'm saying Amazon uses UPS. And so you do that, and you buy the uh, product from Amazon or the postage from Amazon, and then you uh, 
label it and you put that label on Amazon gives you a label you pay Amazon the money they give you the label with the postage paid and you ship your product to your customer and then you tell Amazon that you uh, uh, sent it you know and be sure and tell Amazon you sent it you know and now I'm gonna explain something Amazon has got some uh, conditions in there that you have to send it within a certain time and when you list the product you can tell Amazon how much time you need to get ready or anything like that and there's no problem with that as long as you do it in a specified time if you get over there Amazon's going to ding you and uh, we're not going to talk say to say it's a, a demerit is a demerit and uh, uh, it'll show up on your record so uh, uh, don't get too many demerits and you don't get in trouble with Amazon and without getting into real technical stuff here. But the thing about it is uh, when you're fulfilled, it's 24 seven, 52 weeks a year. There's no way of ifs, ands, or buts about it. You've got to be there or you've got to pack your, all your inventory enough in front of your car so you can send out wherever you at or have somebody do it. it it's not real conducive to taking a vacation or uh, you know, just taking a day off or anything. You've got to be ready to do it, and you've got to get it out because you've only got so many uh, hours to do it. You know, for when with Amazon is what, it, and you set the number of hours, but Amazon's going to hold to what you to what you said. So, uh, so let's go here. So the next way is that was FBM fulfilled by merchant. Now we're going to talk about FBA, and that's what all the uh, hoopla is about and, and and what we say here because private label is part of that and it's fulfilled by Amazon and so what happens in fulfilled by Amazon is you list the product now there's a lot of ways to find a product we're going to go in that a little bit later but you list your product Amazon sells your product just like before and then you don't get a notice well you get a notice that your product has been sold and, and all that but uh, Amazon prepares your product for shipping Amazon handles all the shipping charges. Now, I didn't say Amazon pays for all the shipping charges. You don't because in the uh, Amazon, uh, the way they bill it and everything like that, you're going to get charged. for. Uh, they've got a, a charge they have Amazon. They put it on there. You're going to pay for that. That pays for the shipping and all that. Amazon ships your product for you. It ships your product right to the customer. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to... Uh, sweat it or anything else amazon is going to sh uh, ship it to your customer and they're going to make sure it gets there in good shape you know i've had problems uh naturally like anything else and amazon has some new people and i've had them uh, ship a package of cookies in a, a mail envelope which was a disaster the thing got there and uh, the customer complained naturally because there wasn't a a, a piece of cookie over about a a, a you know, a dime size left in the whole thing. It was really beat to heck. And but Amazon took care of it. They took responsibility and all that. And and that doesn't happen. And I don't mean to tell you that to criticize Amazon. I'm not because uh, uh, they make mistakes just like anybody else. But generally, you're never going to have that problem. Amazon handles all the shipping charges, ships your product, and then Amazon takes care of completely handles the returns, the complaints. And the exchanges, if your customer's got a problem with it, they don't like it or anything like that, and they call Amazon or get a hold of Amazon, and there's a, 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 when you get your product and all that, there's a thing to get a hold of Amazon, and Amazon will take care of it, whether that means that uh, you ship it back or, or what you do with it. Amazon will take care of it, and they will deduct from you or uh, you know, at least whatever it is. But uh, uh, they watch it, you know, and... Uh, they take care of it and that's the neat thing because that's fulfilled by amazon and and to me that's what i want i don't have to worry about it once i get the product ready and once i ship that product to amazon i don't have another worry because amazon takes care of everything else and that leaves me free to travel around the country that leaves me free to go half a mile to the beach uh, that leaves me free just to uh, take my wife to lunch that made me free to do whatever thing, whatever I want, and that's what's called the uh, the FBA lifestyle. And when we talk about it as the uh, private label lifestyle, we're going to get into. There's a lot more to the lifestyle on that because uh, we're going to get to that in a few minutes. Because we've talked about fulfilled by merchant, we've talked about fulfilled by Amazon. And the neat thing about it is, I've got down there at the bottom. Amazon does this 24/7, 52 weeks a year. 
and they still send you or deposit money in your account every two weeks. So uh, uh, doesn't sound bad to me. So what can I tell you? Uh, so then we're going to go on. And so it, naturally, I think the advantage, uh, any way I look at it, is uh, FBA in uh, unless you want to work 24 7 52 now i understand there's some situations which maybe you might want to do fbm uh but uh um, i think the it, it advantage fba it is definitely there because uh, i don't want to work that like i say there's some circumstances maybe you can but and it's important you know that you can do that but uh, for me it's it's the advantage fba you know it's like to me it's like the doorway to paradise because once you get it set up and everything like that you're good to go so uh, what can i tell you so if the advantage is fba then you need to know exactly what kind of selling is there for FBA. So the first type is retail arbitrage. Well, let me tell you something. There's a lot of different FBA selling. You can, um, uh, a lot of different kinds. There's a, there's thrift selling where you can go around to thrift, thrift stores, find stuff. And if you become an expert on it, you can send it and you can make a lot of money. You can sell books. I'm not going to talk about those tonight because those are not the, what I call the uh, uh, lifestyle because, uh, uh, you know, use books and all that. You have to send them in. It's a lot of work. And so I'm not going to talk about that tonight. What I am talking about is the types of FBA selling. When, and the uh, number one, I guess number one, what most people come in to Amazon is retail arbitrage. Now, what is retail arbitrage? Retail arbitrage is nothing more than you, you buying from a store, buying at a price that you can afford to pay the shipping, send into Amazon, and you can make a product, I mean a, a profit out of it. And sometimes you can make a good profit. You know, uh, you can go, you, and the reason I've got that person there with the scanner and scanning the forehead, which is, kind of maybe i don't know but <laughs> you you almost need a scanner so what you do is you take a scanner it's a little thing that hooks on a throb and you have to belong to a service like profit bandit or or uh uh oh come on uh greens of uh oh man excuse me it's profit bandit and uh I don't know. I'll think about it in a minute. I'll tell you. It doesn't make any difference. It's just there's just two, two of the, and there's probably more than that. Those are the two that I know of uh, uh, things where you scan it, and it goes to the company, and the company brings up and tells you how many sellers are on Amazon, how many people are selling that, what they're selling it for, so you can make a buying decision right there in the store. So you make that buying decision. If you buy it, you put it in your shopping cart and go on and go down and scan the next item and the next item until you get your shopping chart or the, as much whatever you wanted to buy for the day uh, in your shopping cart. And then you go and you pay for it. Go out and load it up. If you've got room, uh, you need to go and you want to go to another store, you go to another store, whatever it takes to do that. And like I say, I used to do a lot of uh, retail arbitrage before I started uh, uh, teaching this course and that. I knew I wanted to teach the course and I wanted to know exactly. I knew I wanted to teach the course on private label because that's how I started out, but I wanted to learn some of these other ones. So I did retail arbitrage. I did a lot of retail arbitrage. I did a lot of wholesaling and all that. So I knew what I'm talking about. And so what I would do, I'd go out in the morning, uh, buy my merchandise, come back in the afternoon, carry it into the house, into my workshop where I had, and I'd sort them and label them and package them and get them ready in, in boxes, and I'd ship them out to Amazon in the afternoon. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, for a 72, 73-year-old guy, that's a lot of work, and I don't want to do that. But I, with that being said, I'm also saying that uh, – you can make a good living at it as long as you watch it. The problem with, with re retail arbitrage, you, some of the uh, results you get on the scan, and, uh, how do I want to say it? it? It's not so much their fault. It's the fact that a lot of times there's going to be two or three listings for the same product, and 
and you don't get all the listings on your scan power is what I want to say. Scan power and and profit bandit are two of them. I I I, I use scan power and I think it was an excellent service. No objection. I also know a lot of friends of mine that use profit bandit. They swear by swear by profit bandit. So uh, I'm not taking sides. You know whatever one you want. But you're almost if you're going to do retail arbitrage, you're going to do need almost that. Uh, the only other way to do it is to go strictly off of flyers. And I used to do a lot of because I have a lot of trouble with uh, with scanning in the stores and that. And I like I say I wouldn't get uh, bad results. I, I too many. And then sometimes I'd make a hash heart. Uh, no. A, a rush decision and it wasn't right. So I have to go back and uh, I'd have to eat my losses most of the time because I hated to go back and, and turn the product back in. So I would just ship it and send it in or thing like that. But uh, uh, that's the product problem with retail arbitrage. So uh, uh, what can I tell you? Uh, oh, wow, it's 22 after. We are uh, getting along. I wanted some time to do some other stuff. So we're talking about this retail arbitrage. Now, like I can say you can make good money at retail arbitrage but it is a job and i'm going to tell you that and you get home and and, and uh, uh like i say uh, i was talking i did a lot in cookies and baked goods and stuff like that i knew the, the cookie aisle man i'm telling you i could knew what knew what the cost just about everything in that aisle and everything i knew when you could when you can buy it make some money and when when not to buy it and uh, some of them uh, uh you know and what you, what it was selling for on Amazon, I knew that exactly that a a, a, a six pack of uh, uh, Keebler Sandys, for instance, was selling for uh, uh, twenty thirty bucks. You know, between that, you know, and, and I knew exactly what I'm say what I'm trying to say. But that's what you've got to do because you've almost got to specialize. If you go out and just keep buying stuff and keep buying stuff, you don't know your inventory and uh, uh, you're going to lose money. That's all I'm going to tell you because. Uh, uh, how do I want to say this? And I don't mean to be, think, but part of the reason people are having trouble is because they go to these websites and everything, and these people talking about, oh, they show the pictures of the two, the three cartloads that are coming out of the store and going in. This is what I scanned. This is what I got today. The problem is that people like that, see, the newbies, the new persons feel that they have to compete and everything like that, and so they compromise and they don't follow. They're good that they they start picking up stuff that it's marginal whether they're going to make money, and uh, and you know, and then I'm going to tell you if it's marginal, you're going to lose money. I don't care how you cut it because uh, by the time you get the Amazon uh, uh, fees and everything else in there and. Uh, shipping and if you got any losses or anything like that you're going to use money and but that's what happens because it's kind of a pressure that you've got to send so much in and everything like that and, and you don't you know that's part of it you don't want to do it so uh, 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 with that being said let's go on and uh, and I don't want to discourage you uh, on retail arbitrage like I say I know a lot of people sharp people that are doing it they can watch themselves and they control themselves and, and they do great I know a lot of people that are doing um, uh, thrifting you know they do that it, it's become second nature to them they can go into a thrift store and pick out a bargain you know just like that they'll look at it and they'll know what it is and but it takes learning like any of this stuff so uh, Next type of uh, FBA selling is wholesale. Wholesale is where you buy from a manufacturer or from a broker at a wholesale price and you sell it on Amazon at a retail price. Uh, nothing wrong with that. The only, uh, uh, and, and that's how you do it. You go out and find wholesalers that are willing to uh, sell to you as an Amazon seller. And a lot of people say, well, I have trouble and I do that. And that's because you don't talk to the people right. You can, uh, go out and get I, I i could go out and get new accounts every day a new account you know but the th basic thing is if you're going to do wholesale and if you're going to do it right in my estimation you take one wholesaler that has got a big inventory of a lot of different products and you start and you gradually and add and add and add so you can buy more in quantity so when you buy more in quantity you get it at a lower price and you can get the stuff put on pallets and it gets shipped to you or they're shipped to Amazon like I prefer you to do. But, uh, you know, 
the problem with the wholesale is sometimes people have gone to the part where they're using the same UPC and they bundle it and stuff, and uh, it, it's really goofed it up. So then you have to use a, a fiscu. Uh, well, I, new people aren't going to stand that, so I have to use a fiscu sticker, and uh, that just really complicates things. So, but there's a, some neat ways to do wholesale. I'm going to tell you right now. There's a real good friend of mine. Matter of fact, I took his course when I was learning to to do all this, so I could teach this course. And it's a man by the name of Todd Lammy who teaches it awesome course on wholesale uh i'd listen to i'd sit down and listen to every word i uh, that comes out of the man's mouth and if you get a chance go with him and uh, just sit down and learn from him the man is a genius he does a great job his name is todd lammy and i should probably have his link here but i don't uh but uh, you can look him up uh google him and uh, i i'm sure he'll come up if not get uh get a hold of me send me thing and i will send you a um uh, uh, a link for his thing. I, and I should like say, I apologize. I should have done it. But that's wholesale, and that's basically what wholesale is. Wholesale is is you, you find the the things that are will sell to you, and then you research the product, make sure that you can make money selling into Amazon, and then you order the product. And if you can, you can send it right to Amazon. If not, you have to send it back. If it has to put a, a FISCU sticker or something like that, it's going to have to be shipped to you. And then you ship it into Amazon. So whatever it is, it works out. And that's one way. So uh, uh, like I say, Todd Lamb, if you want to learn that, Todd is excellent at it. So, uh, uh, so there we go. The last type is the type that we talk about. Uh, that's the name of my course. Uh, you know, sell your own product on Amazon for income and lifestyle. That's when you sell your own product, you're selling private label. So private label, it, it is a, a, a way to sell on Amazon. I personally think it's the best. I think it's the uh, easiest as far as that goes. Once you get going, it's, it's always hard to get something started in the front, but then I think it's so much easier. So uh, uh, that's private label. Uh, private label is, is very simply you, uh, Decide, and this is the way it works. Excuse me just a minute. Let me just take a drink of water. Hold on here. If you're going to do private label, the lifestyle way, this is the way you do. You go out and you go to Amazon. You find a product that is selling good. And it doesn't have very many reviews. And is selling for, at, at a decent price you can make money at. Now we explain in the course all all those kind of and really cut those down secretly. But you go and you find that that product, and then you figure out how can I make that product better? What can I do to enhance it? What should, can I do to to make the perceived value more? And then you do that. Once you do that, then you start to source that product and find out what you can, whether it be global sources, whether it be Alibaba or a or, or wherever you go and you find that and uh, uh, you find the product you send queries to the different manufacturers they'll probably come up with a lot of times you're going to get 40 or 50 manufacturers for the same product that's how competitive some of these problems are so you look at, at uh, Alibaba global sources they all tell you a little bit about the manufacturer and you see if you like that manufacturer what you like uh, and you know, if, if he's got the qualifications you like. That's what I should say. Uh, and bear in mind, usually, that the, uh, uh, well, <laughs> the bigger the manufacturer, the, the higher your price is going to be. Let me say this because they have a lot of uh, overhead, just like they do here in the state. So if you can find a smaller manufacturer that's manufacturing your product, you're probably going to get a better price. So, but that's beside the point. You want, you source and you you find a manufacturer that's willing to do it, uh, willing to make changes that you want to change to make that product better. And they're gonna they're gonna label that product for you. They're gonna brand that product and then they're gonna ship that product right into Amazon. You know, and and there's a, a few things that go in between. Like you want to send somebody over there to inspect that uh, product you got before you send it to Amazon. But believe me, it's a lot cheaper to send somebody over to inspect the product than to have the product shipped to you and then you ship it to Amazon. To me, that's just like throwing money in the wastebasket. Uh, you know, what can I tell you? 
Uh, have confidence in your supplier and the people you check, and you'll be fine. Ship it to Amazon, and you're good to go. Amazon sells you the product. And Amazon sells the product for you, and, and you're free, like I say, two weeks. They deposit money in your account. So what can I say? So that's basically the types of FBA selling. So that's Amazon's FBA. Why should I care? Why should you care? Well, let's just go on to the next slide here because of uh, what Amazon is. Now, we've talked about this on quite a few shows, and Amazon is on track to become the number one retailer in the world. It's just that simple, folks. Amazon is on track to become the number one retailer. I didn't say in the United States. I didn't say in Europe. I, didn't, I said in the world. Why? Because we're coming, we're coming together more as a, as a global community. Uh, communications are there. Uh, and with Amazon now, when I first started and everything, you were Amazon USA, and uh, that's where you were going to stay. And it was almost like jumping hurdles to, to get into Amazon CA, uh, which is uh, Canada or, uh, or Europe or any of the places in Europe. And now... Almost all you got to do is flip a switch, and you can get into most of these places and get your product in there. And that's what Amazon wants, and they're going to keep making it. Big, and they have to if they're going to become the number one retailer in the world. And that's what they want, you know. And uh, more power to them because it's kind of like a free ride to be in the biggest organization there is. And that's what you're getting when, when you sign up and you do it right. But let me tell you, going along with that, Amazon is getting really restricted. They're getting restricted to the part that, and, uh, that it's almost, on some of the things, like if you're doing retail arbitrage and that, man, you get in some of the gated communities. You don't get in gated communities with a, a receipt from uh, 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 Walmart or target or anything like that you're going to have to have a receipt from a legitimate wholesale company and all that they're cracking down a lot on the on the retail arbitrage uh which is i suppose is good maybe it's it's good for amazon and it's good for those of you who's doing retail arbitrage no but as a company as a whole and as a seller as a whole especially if you're doing private label it's 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 good it's good there's not a thing wrong with it uh <clears throat> And that's what I say. They, they they want that when they, they be that number one retailer in the world. They have to have quality, good quality products at reasonable prices. Which brings us to the number second thing I've got down there. Amazon is holding right now in China, in Vietnam, and the, some of the other up to companies. They're holding symposiums, not to get people to buy on Amazon. Amazon is past that point. People know how to buy on Amazon, but they're getting think to getting the Chinese manufacturers to send their product in to Amazon, private label, eliminating the people like you and me. Well, that's kind of what it's saying. And the reason for that, because they want to hold the price down. If, if Amazon can get the manufacturer to send it in at the same price that uh, he would sell to you or maybe just a few cents more at that means amazon can sell at a cheaper price but uh, it don't quite work that way because i'll be honest why it's it's the same way you take a a, a a manufacturer over in china to do that he's got to do retail not he doesn't want to a, a, a Wholesale manufacturer doesn't want to do retail. It's against their nature and everything else. They want they want to be able to just produce the product, produce a good product at a good price, and get rid of that product. They want to have don't want to have to about sending it in. They don't want to worry about taking care of uh, uh, returns or any of those things. Well, Amazon takes care of returns, but they don't want to uh, do anything like that. And so they hold they're holding out. They would much rather sell to you. You take it to Amazon and take care of all those problems. Uh, it's just the nature. It's just like a, a, a here or anything else. When you're used to doing something in a certain way, you want to keep it that way. Now, maybe the sons and daughters, they're probably looking at that. And if the father takes his son or daughter uh, along with him, disappear, suppose him, and uh, the kids hear about what's going on in Amazon and everything like that, and they're not set in their ways, then they're going to go and, and want to be uh, um, 
they're going to want to think because gradually the company is going to become theirs. They're going to put new things into practice and they're going. So there's a, there's a window of opportunity right now that I think is going to be closed in another 15, 20 years. I know that's a long time, but believe me, it, it's coming because the way Amazon's doing and the way everything's doing, uh, they're trying to get everything in and the more synchronized, the more compressed they can get the operation. So the manufacturers making the goods, sending it right to Amazon, Amazon sending it to the final consumer. That is simple compared to the way it is now. So I think we've got this window, window of opportunity. And I think that, uh, it's really important. So, and then when I say the last thing I've got down there, and I talked about that just a minute, is a minute ago, Amazon has opened the doors to other countries, wide open, asking you to come and be a universal brand. So when you're establishing that brand, when you set that brand, and it's not like it did years ago. You set a brand, and if you lived in the town, like I come from a little town in Illinois, and it calls Metamora. If you were from Metamora, we had my father had a dairy business there, Shire's Dairy, and that was the local brand, and that was the, uh, the product that most of the people in Metamora and everybody dealt with. But and and now Amazon's doing the same thing, but instead of just coming from a little town in Illinois. I, you're establishing a universal brand because if, if you get it and you get it selling on Amazon and it's good, Amazon will send you a letter practically begging you to come in and they'll open the doors, make it easy. It says sometimes it's, it's the point now where it's a push button to go start selling on cameras, Canada. All you have to do is tell me you want to and, and you're in other than a few banking things and stuff like that, which is, uh, uh, real simple, you can get in. And, and that's not the way it was a few years ago, folks, but that's the way it is now. And, and I probably get at least one email from Amazon a week asking me to go on these different companies. What's this? Terry, you can do this. You can do that. And, uh, you know, and that's just the way it is. And this chance now for you to become a universal brand is greater than it has ever been before or ever will going to be because like I say in, in a few years that's all going to close down but right now it's wide open and you've got the chance to build a universal brand all over the country if you understand what I'm saying you've got a chance you just got to work it go with Amazon and Amazon's going to carry you Amazon's going to take it and so that's why I believe that now is the time to get in with Amazon especially in the private label because you've got the chance to do stuffing that nobody has ever done before as far as you think that the people like Kellogg's or something like that they wouldn't have jumped at that chance to become universal instead of just in the United States, you better believe it. And But now you've got that chance, that universal chance. Why? Because you're a member of Amazon, FBA, and especially in the private label. You don't want to be pushing somebody else's stuff now. You want to be pushing your stuff. Now, how would you like to go, you know, when in my brand is, is Woodford's Cottage, you know, and go over to Sweden or something like that, and you get introduced to the president of Woodford's Cottage, and you get a... a applause and all that because they knew who you are and that's what your chances are now so what can i tell you so uh with that being said i think we are at the end of the presentation tonight so what we're going to do is we're going to go back over here to the uh you want to go to the beach or the boat which would you like uh let's try the boat Oh, there it is. I am sorry. There we go. So there we're at the boat. Uh, what can I tell you? And so I'm going to click the slideshow out of here, and it's gone. And so uh, here I am. And tonight, and let's open up the. Um, uh, dun -dun 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 -dun. We can open up the chat, uh, or do you want to open up the question and answer? Uh, let's just open up the chat box. Uh, you can see it over there. Uh, if you'd like to ask a question, ask a question. Uh, if you would like to, uh, uh, let me, does anybody want to come online tonight? Hold on a minute. Let me copy this link. 
Uh, copy it. Now if I can get it on this right here without upsetting the apple cart, and that's sometimes it's easier said than done. Hold on a minute. What I'm trying to do is, uh, oh, I know what I can do is minimize it. Uh, <clears throat> Now, hold on a minute. I'm coming. I don't, mean to, I don't mean to leave you stranded or anything like that, and I think I'm going to here. Uh, darn it. Darn it. Here we go. Right there it is. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to paste this in, and I'm going to share. And what that is right underneath the box where you're watching the video uh, I'm going to come back over here. Uh, it's where it says "say something." You're going to there's going to be a, a a thing for me. Uh, why is it taking? There it is, right there. That is the link to come inside the course, folks. So uh, what I'm doing is inviting you to come inside here with me, and uh, uh, we're going to have a good time, and uh, we can talk. Uh, we can do whatever whatever you want. You can answer me any questions you like, or Whatever's going on, whatever's on your mind, you can do that. So you, there's a, a a few viewers. I know there's a lot of things going on tonight, especially uh, uh, a friend of mine is uh, uh, doing another broadcast and all that. So uh, uh, we don't have as many viewers as we usually do, but that's okay. Uh, when you're out there, I know the number of viewers. I don't have the slightest idea who the viewers are or anything like that. But like I say, if you want to come in and join me on the broadcast, you're, you're welcome. Uh, up there on the top in the group chat, if you want to ask me a question, I would be glad to answer it for you. So, uh, uh, so here's to whatever you want to do. All right. Excuse me. Just a minute. That was that was good. Uh, like I say, for some of you guys that have been following us for a long time, and that that is probably not the most exciting topic that we covered tonight. But believe me, for those of you who are brand new, it's important that you understand why uh, FBA is a lot better than FBM. Why? why what you do on each one and wh what's going on and what your opportunities are people don't realize that i'm telling you people all the time they're they're doing uh retail arbitrage and uh, i really think within 10 years or so retail arbitrage is going to be a, a, a pretty much a thing of the past because amazon is really cracking down uh, and uh, people that the day well, you know when i first started uh gosh you know how long has it been? What, three, four years? Something like that. You know, when I first started, I was a graduate of the first uh, ASM class, uh, and that's how I got started. Uh, beside that. But that was a long time ago. And the thing of it is, then you could almost take any product, you bought it at a thing, and send it to Amazon, and it was going to sell. It was going to sell, unless it was a really dud. But, I mean, if you follow any halfway of any of the rules that we teach or something like that you were going to come out you were going to make money on it but it's not that way it's it's real competitive and you can still make tons of money you can make good money but you gotta follow a program you can't just go willy-nilly and send a product in there like you used to be able to inspect to come and amazon's going to send you money it don't work that way anymore uh and amazon uh is not going to show your product if it's if it's not selling right doesn't look good and uh, uh you don't take care to put the number of pictures in there and do things right amazon is not going to reward you i'm going to tell you that right now get used to it get used to it because they're going to weed out people like that because if they're going to become the number one supplier in the world number one retail merchant in the world they have to be uh they want people that's going to work with them going to do what's have to and bring them quality products and that's what it's all about and that's where it's going and so all i can say right now is uh, now is the time you need to get in a program if you're not in the program is to get in a program and uh, uh, learn to do it right learn to do it the right way learn to make money and learn to uh, uh, work with amazon because amazon's going they're going to be that number one retailer in the world and if you want the free ride work with amazon get with amazon join the course learn how to do it right learn how to make money good money and and 
you just get going to get carried along with Amazon. And, man, chances are you can be a universal brand within a few years. Amazon's going to make that pro that happen. Never, like I say, in the history of the world has ever that, that ever been uh, available before, but it is now. And uh, what can I tell you? Well, nobody's asking any questions tonight. Um, I've got the link down there if you want to join the uh, uh the broadcast you can click on that link it's right underneath the, the picture where you're you know the box where you're watching me watching the video right now where it says share uh or say something or whatever you call it i there's me it's a long thing it's a link if you click on that link that link will bring you right inside what they call the green room and you can sit here with me and we can talk and talk about the subject tonight or if you want to just ask me a, a question over there on the right side there is what they call a group chat and you can put something in there and i will be glad to answer it if not i am going to probably sign off here for too long because but i'll I'll stay as long as there's people here and you want to talk. I like talking about Amazon uh, FBA. I like talking about private label. I like talking about wholesale and uh, all the others. And I don't mean to put anything down. I'm just here to tell you what the, what the advantages of private label. And I could talk all night on that because it is so important. Like I say, you've got a chance now like never before. You can become a universal brand. That's, that's, that's a universal brand is a brand that is recognized and sold all over. There is so much advantage to that. And you can be because you can, if you get on with Amazon, start doing the private label, and it's just it's automatic because, like I say, Amazon sends me letters at least once a week wanting me to go into this country, want me to do that, and they make it easier. So it is the point now would go to. Canada, like Canada, my gosh, you used to have to stand on your head, spit nickels and everything else to get a thing in Canada. Now you don't. Now you just almost push a button and you're there. You you can list on Canada, you know. And same way again, it's going to be that way for Europe and uh, and all the S before long. So take advantage of it. Take advantage of it. Uh, what can I say? You know, take learn to get to do it right get the pictures taken and all that and get your product into Amazon, get it selling and build that brand because uh, you've got a chance like never before. And uh, uh, what can I say? Uh, I know people, uh, uh, they, sometimes they laugh at me when I say that, but believe me, it's coming. It's, it's already here and you need to take advantage of it now. So uh, that's all I'm going to say on that. Uh, uh, what can I tell you? Uh, like I say, I enjoy talking about it. Uh, and that. So with that being said, uh, it looks like nobody's going to come on board. Nobody is uh, asking any questions right now. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, uh, go and join my wife and watch some television or something. So with that being said, uh, like I say, I appreciate you. I thank you for being with us on this, with the show tonight. I enjoy it and hope you got a lot out of this. I know it's a, a it's not really a real, what you call deep subject, but I think it's an important one. And the thing that I'll say it one more time, you've got an opportunity today that has never been on the face of the earth. Uh, you've never had that opportunity. You've got the opportunity to build a universal brand that's known all over the world. And if you get on and uh, with the FBA program, with Amazon, Amazon is just going to take it, and you're just going to get taken right along, and you are going to reap the benefits. So with that being said, uh, like I say, nobody's joining us, and nobody is on the group chat. So uh, uh, with that being said, I... Uh, talked about it. I can't think of anything to, to talk about that because uh, uh, with that being said, I'm going to stop the broadcast and I will see you.